Hello my dear students. Welcome to NAK Academy. Uh, in this video we are going to uh, discuss uh, square of a binomial expression uh, related uh, few more questions and applications of binomial expressions which means what are the ways uh, the examination questions can be given based on this uh, binomial expressions because there are different different ways this binomial expressions can be applied to those questions so those are the two sections uh, we are going to discuss in this video so with this uh, video session uh, this binomial expressions uh, chapter uh, will be uh, concluded and we will be uh, discussing a new chapter on the next video so uh, let's take one example question of a square of a binomial expression so as I explained in my previous video we discuss binomial expressions which which are take place in the form of ax plus y so ax plus y uh, in other words let's say uh, I can mention 2a uh, plus o minus let's say minus 3 to the whole thing is a square because it's a square of a uh, binomial expression so which means uh, I can write this as 2a minus 3 into 2a minus 3 so as I explained earlier in order to write the terms we follow first we take the square of the first term so which means the first term is 2a so we take the square of the first term so we take the square of the first term that is 2a multiplied by 2a so 2a multiplied by 2a is equals to 4a square so my first term is 4a square so I write 4a square then we need to find the second term or the middle term so what we do is we multiply the first term and the second term that which means 2a multiply by minus 3 that is equals to minus 6a that minus 6a term again you multiply by 2 so which is equals to minus 12a so you take plus into minus that is minus 12a so we write 4a square minus 12a now we take the last term so the last term is or square of the last term so we take minus 3 whole thing is a square which is equals to plus 9 so minus into minus is plus 3 multiplied by 3 is uh, plus 9 so I ended up with plus 9 so the answer would be 4a square minus 12a plus 9 so similarly you can simplify any given or you can expand any given square of binomial expressions 
now uh, let's consider an example which consists with two fractional values for example we'll say uh, I'm going to include uh, 1 over 2 a plus 1 over 3 B so the whole thing is a square because it's a square of a binomial expression in other terms if I write this I can write 1 over 2 a so here 1 over 2 a plus 1 over 3 b 1 over 3 b again into the same 1 over 2 a into uh, plus 1 over 3 b so as I mentioned you earlier to write the answer we write the first term as square of the first term so my first term is 1 over 2 a so if I take the square value of it which turns into 1 over 4 a square 1 over 4 a square that is my first term then I must write the second term or the middle term so in order to write the middle term we must multiply the two terms which means 1 over 2a multiplied by 1 over 3b which means 1 over 6ab so that is 1 over 6ab again this term I need to multiply by 2 so I must multiply this by because as I mentioned first we multiply the two terms that particular expression or that particular value again we multiply by 2 in order to get the final middle term then we must write the or we must find the last term which is the square of the last term 1 over 3 B we need to take the square so 1 over 3 square means 1 over 9 1 over 9 and we take the b square now I am going to simplify these values so the first term remain as same 1 over 4 a 1 over 4 a square middle term or the second term I can simplify 2 and 6 2 and 6 can be divided so I get 1 over 3 I get 1 over 3 so here I get uh, 1 over 3 a b here it is 1 over 3 a b and the last term would be plus 1 over 9 b square so now we write the last term as 1 over that is 1 over 9 b square 
so it is very simple uh, when you expand the terms make sure uh, when you are taking the product of the middle term always first you you take the product of the first two terms or you multiply the first two terms then that particular value or that expression again you multiply by 2 in order to get the the last term as I mentioned in this example it is 1 over 3 a b so uh, this is how we expand the given uh, binomial expressions or square of a binomial expressions so most of the time what examiner does is you get the first term as a negative or sometimes both the terms are negative which means minus let's say minus 1 over 2a and minus 1 over 3b or sometimes you in the middle you get the negative symbol so whatever the symbol is you make sure always you follow the three uh, instructions which means to get the first term you get the square of the first term in order to get the second term we multiply the two terms then that particular term or the uh, expression we again multiply by 2 in order to write the last term we take the square of the second term so that is the rule you have to follow for any given binomial expressions which is square of binomial expressions so let me do one more example with a negative uh, values so I'll take let's say uh, 2 minus 2x and minus 3y the whole thing is a square so if you see first term is you take the square of the first term which means you take minus 2x the whole thing is a square so as you can observe here no matter whether it is plus or minus the very first term always you get the positive value so even it is uh, plus 2x square still you ended up plus 2x the whole thing is square then your answer is 4x square even it is minus minus 2x the whole thing is square still your answer is uh, plus 4x square so you write plus 4x square now the second term so as I mentioned you take the product of the two terms minus 2x minus 2x you multiply by minus 3y so again minus into minus is plus so you get plus 6xy so that value again you multiply by 2 so you get 12 x y so the middle term is or the second term is plus 12 x y now you write the last term minus 3 y you take the whole thing is as a square something similar to the first one so your third term would be plus 9 y square So this is how uh, plus and the minuses both you must consider when you are dealing with square of 
uh, binomial expressions. So these are a couple of examples that I have done. So when you refer your textbook, there are more questions uh, that you can go through if I show you a bit. Uh, so there are questions. If you go to exercise 4.2, there are enough questions you can find and you can uh, attempt uh, these questions. You can expand, as it's mentioned here, expand each of the following squares of binomial expression. So you can do each of these questions. Now let's see uh, how we can apply this. Uh, as I mentioned, my second uh, topic for the day, applications of binomial expressions. So one of the application area is something they will uh, give a number. Let's say, uh, we'll take this example. 105 square, find the value of 105 square. Or we can take even 99 square. So let's take uh, 105 square. So a number, a square value is given and we are supposed to find the value of this particular number. So this can be uh, done in two ways. One is you can simply multiply 105 with 105 as a standard way and you can derive to the answer. But if the examiner specifically tells you to apply uh, binomial expressions, then you cannot just multiply and write the answer. You will not be able to score marks. So here then you have to apply uh, the square of binomial expression uh, technique. So in other words, I can split this number as 100 plus 5. The whole thing is a square because 100 plus 5 is 105, 105 square. Now you can apply one by one uh, the terms how we found for those expressions. So here 100 is something similar to A, uh, 5 is something similar to B. So A plus B, the whole thing is a square. So first we take the A square, square of the first term, which means we take square of the first term means 100. We must take the square of the 100. which means, uh, in other words, you do 100, you multiply by 100. So that is equals to four zeros, that is 10,000. So you write the first term as 10,000. Then we write the second term. So it is plus, multiply the two terms, that is 100 multiplied by 5. So now I'm going to write the second term. 100 you multiply by 5. So that is equals to 500. Again 500 you multiply by 2. So that is equals to 1000. So now I write 1000 plus square of the last term. That means 5 square is 25. So now it is very simple as you can see you can simply add these values. So here you ended up here three zeros and three zeros you get one one. Uh, zero two five. So if, if I add those numbers you get zero 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 three zeros and one comes here again you add with 25 so double one zero eleven thousand twenty five is the answer so you can refer the your textbook also it is given the same example question that I have explained here so similarly you can apply to the other numbers also and make sure always you take the numbers which are which you can take the square value easily. 
now for example the same question this 105 square sometimes uh, another students might take as 100 100 102 plus 3 the whole thing is a square so this is also correct because 102 plus 3 is equals to 105 but the problem is when you take the square value of 102 again you need to spend more time on multiplying those values so here the objective is applying binomial expressions in order to solve fast and get the answer quickly so therefore when you are selecting the numbers so this though it is right we cannot take this approach uh, we cannot consider these numbers because it takes time when you multiply the values so therefore always when you are splitting the numbers make sure you take the numbers which can be take the square values quickly so this is one application area of uh, square of binomial expressions so another application area is so I mentioned this is application it's one another section is Uh, they provide values for these terms and they ask you to verify now for example let's say x plus y whole thing is a square S which is equals to we know that is equals to x square plus 2xy plus y square so this is the expanded form of this particular uh, binomial expression now the question sometimes they say x equals to 2 and y equals to 1 verify so what you have to do is simply substitute the values but they have given in the question so in here x is equals to 2 so I I mentioned 2 plus 1 whole thing is a square so I am verifying the left side of the equation or left side of this particular ex expression so 2 plus 1 is equals to 3 3 squares equals to 9 so that is left side now I am going to substitute the value for right side so first term is x square so I take 2 square plus 2 times of 2 multiplied by x value is 2 again y value is 1 plus the last term is y square that is 1 square so further if I simplify these values 2 square is equals to 4 plus 2 into 2 4 4 into 1 is 4 again plus 1 square is 1 plus 1 so which is equals to 9 so that is my right side of the expression so both the left side and the right side gets the same value so this is but is called as uh, verifying the given expression so they will ask you to substitute the values and you have to verify and uh, find whether left side and the right side gets the same value it's not so you don't get always the same value then you can mention you can rewrite and say uh, either left side or the right side doesn't match with this uh, substitution sometimes they can change the terms what I'm trying to say is instead of writing 2xy they can mention 3xy so the whole value changes 
so which is incorrect so the expansion is incorrect so you can mention the expansion is incorrect so that is a type of application that you will get under binomial expressions especially of a square of a binomial expressions and the other way of uh, application area is which is something very important you to know uh, if I take an example question something like um, let's say x plus 2 whole thing is a square so we know uh, the answer for this particular expansion is x square square of the first term then multiply the two terms x multiplied by 2 is 2x again 2x multiplied by 2 uh, that is 4x plus square of the last term that is 4 so what examiner can do is they can simply first give this expression without giving the last term they can leave a space and say equals to x plus again space and square so now you are supposed to fill this the last term of the expression and to write that as a square of a binomial expression with these type of questions it is very easy for you to attempt uh, simply what you have to do is always take the coefficient of the middle term so we know the co in this question the coefficient of the middle term is 4 so that value you divide by 2 let's say this is the value you divide this by 2 so 4 divided by 2 is 2 so that whatever the divided value you, you write in the place where you write as a the square of a binomial expression so once you fill this automatically you know now this is the square of the binomial expression so here we must write the square of the last term which means the last term is 2 so you write 2 square as 4 that is the simplest way that you can find and write the answer so if I take another example let's say uh, we take another example as uh, let's say uh, a square minus 6 a b and the space is given now which is equals to now you have a and say you have the space we'll say space so now you are supposed to write the symbol as well as the value so as I mentioned you here if you in this question so the coefficient of a b is now let's keep a here uh, let's keep b here so we'll take another example with b so minus 6 now I'm going to divide by 2 
so when you divide by 2 you get minus 3 so here you get minus 3 so this bracket you get minus 3 so now we know a square then you multiply the two terms that is 3a minus 3a again multiply by 2 minus 6a and the last term is minus 3 square that is plus 9 so now you have filled the both the sections the last term and the the given square of the binomial expressions so this is how you attempt whatever the questions given to you so if I go to go through the textbook uh, as you can see there are uh, questions given with the terms now x square minus 8x plus 16 and they want us to fill the blank spaces with the suitable terms so simply you can uh, now if I take this example x square minus 8x plus 16 again as I mentioned you minus 8 you divide by 4 so minus 8 divided by 4 means minus 4 so here you write minus 4 so first term here comes as minus 4 so similarly you can try these questions uh, which are not difficult at all uh, and also uh, you can try questions with numbers as we did and the verification so verification is very few questions they have given so only thing is you have to just substitute the values and you can find out what are the uh, whether the left side is equals to the right side or not and as I mentioned you have squares of uh, fractional coefficients so you can expand this as I did in my example question here so apart from these applications so I have discussed three application areas apart from this uh, when you take your miscellaneous exercise there are some uh, questions which are a uh, little tricky now for example question number five find the value of x square plus y square when x plus y is equals to five and x y is equals to six so this is also another application area so I will take that question so our fourth application area so it says find the value of find the value of x square plus y square so we are supposed to find the value of x square plus y square but we got is x plus y which is equals to 5 and x y is equals to 6 sometimes you might feel this question as a simultaneous equation uh, no it is not because uh, you can use simultaneous equations also but it is always easy for you to use binomial expressions or the square of the binomial expression because uh, here directly they want us to find the value of x square plus y square why I am specifically saying this is not you are not go you should not approach the simultaneous equation type because if you take your O level exam papers most of the time you get these questions in the first paper or in the part one paper which you have a very limited time and the you have a very limited space also uh, to write answers so you cannot apply simultaneous equations only thing is you have to apply 
square of the binomial expressions so if I write this as a square of the binomial expressions this is how I need to solve this problem so solving the problem so we take x plus y whole thing as a square x plus y whole thing as a square so we know that is equals to our expression x square square of the first term product of the two terms that is x y into 2 which means 2 x y plus square of the last term which is y square now here as you can see we can simply substitute the values given here so before that let's say uh, since I need to find the value of x square plus y square I subject x square plus y square so when I subject x square plus y square it remains uh, x plus y the whole thing is square I must take this plus 2xy to the other side of the equation then it changes to minus 2xy which is equals to x square plus y square now it is just the matter of substituting the given values so I know the value of x plus y is equals to 5 so here I write 5 square 5 square minus 2 multiplied by x y is equals to 6 2 multiplied by 6 equals to x square plus y square so now I can simply write x square plus y square is equals to 5 square is 25 minus 12 2 multiplied by 6 is 12 therefore x square plus y square is equals to 5 minus 2 is 3 2 minus 1 is 1 so the value of x square plus y square is equals to 13 so this is how we simplify when uh, problems they give in relation to square of binomial expressions so now you can see uh, the importance of this lesson because there are four different types of applications that the examiner can test you in the examination only using square of binomial expression so but my advice for you to is first you practice the binomial expressions uh, multiplying binomial expressions then you come to the section square of binomial expressions and expand the given binomial expressions as I showed you in your textbook exercises then gradually go to binomial expressions which contains fractions practice those fractional type questions then finally you come to the application sections so there are four different types of applications one is directly they give the numbers the square values then they ask you to apply the square of binomial expressions and to find answers and the other sections are as I discussed in this video you can uh, leisurely go through one by one and you can try other questions uh, do not miss to try these uh, miscellaneous exercises especially because it has some very good questions the question number six onwards you can try these questions and if you have any doubts or if you need any clarifications further please leave a comment also uh, uh, like 
this video and share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe my channel uh, NAK Academy. So thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day.